Bada bing. Bada boom. Bada bong. Bada bum. Uh, Skyward Sword Part 2. Welcome to the thing. Oh. We're gonna do uh, motion controls to start, and then I will switch to controller. But yeah, I haven't had a chance to play very much of this, but I'm hoping today I can finally get to a dungeon. Which link am I? I'm the link that drops my Joy-Con. Yeah. All right. Uh, hope everyone's doing okay out there. I managed to finish Mayro Golf. Uh, last time I played this, the volume of the game was a little too loud. I hope it's better today. I hope the balancing is a little bit better. Been um, actually looking forward to getting back to playing this. Oh, I should use the help button. Oh, I should use the fi button. Search for Zelda. Dive into the Column of Light. Ah. Optional fi is very, very good. I heard the news. Zelda's fallen through the clouds. You're going to look for her. <clears throat> There's land beneath the clouds. You know anything about that? So that's the famous sword. Oh, but it won't do you much good if you don't have a shield to protect yourself with. Take this with you. The wooden shield is light and maneuverable, but it's the weakest of all the shields. Keep that in mind. It's particularly uh, vulnerable to fire. You know what? This dude just gave me the worst shield in all of Skyloft. That's a little lame. Those trees look cool. An update regarding the stone tablet and the resulting column of light has appeared to the south of our location. And signs indicate that, hang on a minute, just moving the window, has created an opening in the cloud barrier to the land below. Shield and potions. Okay, fine, thanks. How bizarre, how bizarre. Yeah, so I am using... I'm using tilt controls at the moment. Bird flying is much better with a controller, but for the time being, tilt controls will have to do. I remember this guy. Uh, welcome to the scrap shop. You can upgrade your gear, and if your shield takes a beating, no worries, I can fix that too. Upgrade my shield now. I need, um... Amber Relic, Jelly Blob, and more Monster Claw. Sorry, mate. I have a fuckload of rupees. Hi. Hello, welcome to the item check. Wanna put stuff from your pouch into storage? Okay, wanna take something out of storage? That's fine. So is there anything in your pouch and storage you wanna move? No. Oh, really? Great. Not like my time is worth anything. Who's better? Her or the Majora's Mask, um, peddler? Oh god, this dude. I never knew this dude's name. Calamitous- what calamitous vision appears before me? You may choose not to believe me, but my eyes foresee a hazardous thorny road ahead of you. <laughs> These eyes! It's not Mallow, but it's- it's pretty good. I can foresee what will befall you, for I'm a fortune teller. Trust my piercing eyes, listen to my pure and innocent voice. I will do you no harm, gaze deeply into my eyes. <laughs> no! The adorable boy with the golden hair. Welcome to the potion shop. 
You're one of those knights, aren't you? Or one in training, at least. Hmm. I'm skipping. I pressed the button twice. Um, I forgot that the joy can't, uh, the Joy-Con can't penetrate my legs. So I have to sit in a very particular way. Anyway, I'll give you a spare empty bottle I've been keeping in the stall. It's nothing. You won't hear me say this often, but you can put other things besides potions in the empty bottle. So it's useful. It's useful. It's useful. That potion's not out yet. Eight hearts for 20 rupees. Is this the quickest and most cheap that you can get um, a potion in a Zelda game? Hello, welcome to my humble little side business over here. I uh, infuse the potions my wife sells with new ingredients to increase their power. It's nothing really, just something I like to do. Do you have any potions? Would you like me to infuse them? Ah, uh, these are the potions you currently carry that I can infuse. Completely restores all hearts. Oh, right. Just need a bunch of, um, bugs. So, you have to make Link drink bugs. Ah, customer. Hello there, friend. My shop carries the finest product you'll find anywhere. Please take a moment for your senses to savor the wonderful treasures I've prepared just for you, friend. Okay. <laughs> you don't appear to have a slingshot, my friend. I'm very sorry, but you don't have a bomb bag, my friend. You don't have a bow, my friend! Man, this game looks fucking great in 60 FPS. It really does. Anyway. Wait, what? Wasn't there supposed to be bird? Sharp enough or you'll never make it to knighthood. Oh, I had to press the button for bird. I kind of wish it was a little easier to, um... Switch controllers, like, on the fly. Like, on PC, you can just switch from mouse and keyboard to controller instant instantly. But, this is still so much better. Okay, we'll just not get that rupee. So much potential for the sky segments, and they end up being just kind of adequate. Also, I don't really plan on this being a 100% run. It's like... Fake Sky Octorox. It's amazing how little of this game I actually fucking remember. There's just a bird down there with some rupees. I wonder if, um, there are any islands I can actually... go to right now. I don't remember.
What, what is this? Oh yeah, there's um like um a roulette island kind of thing. Something like that. It's such a cool concept though. Oh man. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on. I need to be able to, um, get off the bird. There we go. Very good. Good island. Oh, you have to run. You you can't just like fall off the island. You have to run off the island. Otherwise it doesn't look cool. You have to make it look cool. Also, I think this is the fastest that you get control of your pet or slash horse bird um, slash uh, ride in a Zelda game, right? I think it is. <laughs> Fuck, I hate clowns. Spooky clowns! Step right up. My boy, that you're wondering what I'm doing here. Nah. No. Well, that's not fun at all. I'm doing everything I can to make people's dreams come true. Yahoo! Okay, what are you doing here? Just the answer I was looking for. What a smart little guy you are. Hoping to make this island a fun place where everyone can come and be happy. What's it called, you ask? Or even if you didn't ask, I call it Fun Fun Island. Still getting the place set up, so hopefully you'll visit again later. You might like what you find, especially if you like fun and colors! Police arrest this man! Please! accidentally pulling my sword out, trying to rotate the camera. That's gonna happen a lot. J there it is again! Yeah. Let's see... I know there's like a sword training island, and there's a pumpkin island. I wouldn't mind checking those two out before I go down to the surface. Th there's no fast travel option, right? <laughs> But yeah, the the art style in this game for me really holds up. Just especially seeing it in the sky like this in, in full FPS, full HD, looks good. Again, I didn't really hate this game at all, like on my first playthrough of it. I, I quite liked it. <clears throat> I think that this will be a good revisit. 
and it seems like um, I'm just gonna have to get used to using controller or motion controls or both. I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna do that whole thing. Also, I want to clarify something. When I said in part one that I was thinking of streaming this, that's just a force of habit. I wasn't actually considering, like, live streaming it. I'm still a little ways off from that. I'm... Most... Let's just say it wouldn't happen until, like, the end-ish of the summer, if I did that. So, um, me saying I was thinking of streaming it meant I, I was thinking of doing... Let me lower this game a little bit. I was thinking about, like, recording a video of it. I pressed the Joy-Con by accident. The thing is, I, I wasn't sure... <laughs> I just wasn't sure if this was going to be a repeat purchase. So, yes, $10 off was good. But what I really needed to see was the quality of life changes and speeding up some of the slow parts. The intro of this game still feels a little bit long, like before you get into the sky and, you know, like, it's a couple hours before you get to a dungeon. But again, you know, if the game is good, I don't mind so much, and I'm enjoying this so far. Twilight Princess also, as I noted, had a long intro. And, um, I think I was a little bit more receptive for that, because it had traditional Zelda controls. Can you really not open this? Mm. Oh wait, do I have to do a thing? Action, dash, inventory. Yeah. I just don't think I can open those yet. There really should be a patch to have an option to rotate the camera independent of, um... Of your, uh, L button. I forgot how to throw. But anyway. Peace out, pumpkins. <laughs> that perfect camera angle, thank you. The lumpy pumpkin. Hi. Listen to this, the old guy over there says he saw a demon. Obviously just trying to get Keena's attention, but he won't get anywhere using creepy lines like that. Hi. Well, well, welcome. I can see from your handsome outfit that you're a Skyloft Knight. Hope you'll make yourself at home. Have the rupees sitting on top of the chandelier caught your eye? Don't go thinking you can get those down, you hear? You might think that you could knock the rupees down by bumping something and making the chandelier shake. I'm not even thinking about it. Are we clear? Yep. Crystal. Come here this instant! But there is a heart piece. You don't know how much I need the heart piece. 
Oh no, you've got to made a terrible mess of things, haven't you? Well, now you're going to be in a world of trouble. I'll just be taking that. Oh. What is wrong with you? Just look at what you've done. You broke my fancy custom-ordered chandelier. Oh, you're gonna be working for, for, for me for free until you can pay off every single rupee that chandelier cost me. Ready to own up to your responsibility? That's right, I'm gonna hold you to that. I need you to deliver my famous soup to Aegis, Skyloft's Knight Commander. The Knight Commander's a regular here. He says he can't do his... He can't do his day until he has the soup. Oh. You haven't got an empty bottle. Eh. I'm in no rush to pay off my debt for ruining this person's fine establishment. Link gets his bird, and then starts committing crimes immediately. And you think that's bad? Wait until you see what he does to the pumpkins. Awful. Just- just a menace. That Link. a production error in regards to the, um, or production problem, or something, the Zelda plus Skyloft amiibo. So now I can't be an amiiboner. By the way, there is something that's kind of annoying in regards to that, which is, um, you can teleport directly to the sky. Like, you can kind of quick travel to the sky. But you need the damn amiibo. God damn it, Nintendo. Quality of life features hidden behind plastic. That's a very Nintendo thing to do. I want those rupees. Oi! Why is the, the rupees, like, disappearing? What the fuck? Oh, it's gone! Ah. Uh. Alright. I'll stick at the nice 169. Chat member just said, Vinny, I'm not real. Where are you getting this from? Well, you see, chat member, you were always, only, ever in my mind. Considering we are the center of our our own existences slash universe, universe I, the the idea of a real chat is laughable and has been since the beginning of chat. On a serious note, though, I know, as I've heard many times, that, um, you know, this isn't the same for some people, and they, they like the, the chat interaction. Like, Vinny, have you ever, like, stuck a banana? And, and, like, that kind of stuff is what people really want. That's, that's the good stuff, apparently. I know there's more to it than that. And I know that this stuff is different that I'm doing now. 
And, uh, I appreciate your patience one way or another. This is just what I want to do right now. This- this works out better for me because... How can I... grow as a human being without change? Without making an attempt at change? And I've been doing a lot of adult stuff lately. I've been doing a lot of, of, um, you know, getting my shit together. And, um, that necessitates a change in my streaming, in my video production, in my habits, in my life. I needed it for a long time. So yes, this is different. Yes, it's not the same. It might even suck for some people, which I think it's good, but, you know, whatever. Um, but, you know, that's the point. And so, hopefully, you know, some lads have found a, another streamer that they, they can also enjoy. Even just playing this game and thinking about, like, my first Comic-Con ten years ago, and playing the game at that Comic-Con, and then streaming it using, like, easy cap, like, terrible capture software, terrible audio, not knowing what the fuck I was doing. I mean, I didn't even know what I was doing in the best of times. But, it's, um, you know, it's... It's a long-ass time, man, and, um... I'm not really one who likes to look back. I have some nostalgia for, you know, I, I like to look back at the stuff that I, I did when I was younger, like games I played. But in regards to, like, me and development as a person, I like to look forward and live in the moment as well. And um, what I can say is, again, I enjoyed my, my time. But, yeah, this is, this is now a summer to, uh, to, you know, try to enjoy the summer for what it is. And you've, you've heard me say this a bunch already, so you don't need to hear me say it again. Also, I think I now remember how to open those treasure chests. Oh, wait, 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 wait! You gotta do something on the ground! That's what you have to do. Yeah, get stuck, bird. So, I thought I had to do this. The truth is, you gotta do something on the ground using the Skyward Strike, and then it makes the treasure chests available in the sky. You? Whoa, is that you, Link? Never thought I'd run to you here. This is my secret spot where I come to work with the kinks out of my sword arm. There was a time I was the most popular guy in all of Skyloft. Folks were always cheering me on like it was a parade, but as you know, time passes. Look into my eyes, Link. I'm your future. We even both got blonde hair. So that's right. You're gonna be me in about 30 years. You're gonna look just like me. I'm not the young buck I used to be. I eat when I get stressed and I'm worried about my darling daughter all the time. I mean, look at this belly. That's what drives a feller here to chop some bamboo. Let me tell you, there's no better way to sweat off those pounds. Here's an idea, Link. Here's an idea, Link. Why don't you try slicing some bamboo? That's the spirit. Chop away, boy. Apparently, this is, like, broken, using the controller. <laughs> yep. Hold up, son, you're all done. Let's count. Oh, your score is 30! That's one humdingler and your score. I've only reached that number a few times myself. You're surprised.
a skull. I reckon I can beat 30. But not now, of course. So you gotta use the stick. <laughs> you gotta use it. You can't just go left, right, left, right, because then you spin. Y you gotta do, like, five right, four left. Or five and five. There you go. There's another 30. Speaking of spinning, I received a communication through my contact form, which people have been sending me lots of good Sunday-esque content. Lots of weird shit, which is good. I want- I want that stuff. But, um... Goddess Plume. Okay. But I also... Got a very interesting piece of wisdom I'd like to share with you. This music will help. To spin is divine. According to ancient Greek philosopher Plato, there are seven kinds of motion. Forwards, backwards, left, right, up, down, and finally spinning in place. The world soul and the human soul, Plato thought to participate in this last kind of motion which he therefore estimated to be the most divine. According to the ancient big brain man, spinliness is close to godliness, that is all. Thank you, Max, for that information. shit. I think it's... Mm, five is... A longer blade. Huh. Yeah, five cuts to the right is too much. I think maybe four? Four and four? Oh, fuck it. Fuck it. It's weird that you only use the starting sword in this game for like 10 minutes. And then you immediately get like a form of the master sword. It's just weird. Thirty is the magic number for me, apparently. Yeah. Oh, I've already got a bunch of rare materials. Link's leggings in this game are like a tannish brown, and so are the clouds. Coincidence? I also think it's kind of good to evaluate this game on its own now with some improvements, um, as it, you know, a lot of people viewed it in a weird light considering it was so many years of the same Zelda formula. And now Breath of the Wild has completely thrown a wrench in that formula. 
and we can get back to a traditional Zelda game with some weird stuff that they tried. A couple weird things. Some maybe didn't work as well, but I think it's cool that the series has changed so much, and some people don't like that change as much as I do. I love Breath of the Wild, but I also love traditional Zelda. So I'm wondering how people who played only Breath of the Wild are going to feel about this, for example. I remember there was a Goron. Somewhere around here. Please make sure to use your sailcloth when descending from high elevations. Failing to do so has a high probability of resulting in death, I mean injury. I took the liberty of deploying the sailcloth for you this time, but in the future you can manually engage it by pressing ZR. We've arrived. Master, please do not get yourself fucking crushed. By my calculations, you are currently positioned in a location known as the Sealed Grounds. Please proceed with caution. That bird does not work. Alright, I'm gonna switch to Joy-Cons now. I do feel like this is the optimal setup for the sword. Like, the controller is perfectly fine. I think people are gonna enjoy that. Some people are gonna hate it. I think it, it works, but... And I can't believe I'm saying this because I'm usually uh, very much against Waggle. Though I don't think this game... ...could really be considered Waggle. So I think, in that sense, I plan on using, uh, mostly motion controls for the on, you know, the, the on-foot segments, and then in, back in the sky, I'm gonna switch the controller. <laughs> the stick is just a little bit finicky. That's what she said, but, yeah. Ugh. It's a weird daydream slash nightmare to have, man. It's one thing about this game that will always miff me 
is like, depending on how you hold the, um, either the Wiimote or the Joy-Con, you're gonna have to deal with a lot of bizarre Link poses while running around. Sorry to say, this- this doesn't look as cool as some of the other stuff that Link has done in his past. I mean, in his future. I mean, different Link. down there right now. Yeah. Wait, why would I do that? That beetle wasn't hurting anyone. I remember... something... I, well, I remember this area very well because there's some stuff that goes down here several times. Um, I'm, I'm gonna try not to spoil too much of what I remember for people watching this. Also, Link's stamina gauge is just lime wire. So, for people who want to watch this and get the experience for the first time, I'll try to accommodate. But, there's definitely some annoyance- Oh, fuck. Alright. Oh. There's something distinctly annoying that I remember about this area. Young one, child of destiny, descended from the sky. Raise the sword of the goddess skyward. Take aim at the evil aura and unleash its power. Okay, I did have to come down here. Master Link, I'm sensing a change in the area that was triggered by your Skyward Strike. I've also detected an aura that correlates closely to your sailcloth. I surmise this aura belongs to Zelda. I can lead you in the direction of this aura, though a process- through a process known as dousing. Vibration and sound. Purple pointer. some weird motion issues. Because remember, there's no pointer in the same way that we had a pointer. This is just gyro. We have to reset a lot.
there's some uh, preview of that Baldo game that looks kind of like a Zelda game. It's just, you know, got an unfortunate name, Baldo. But it looks cool, it's just the movement speed seems really slow. Sealed temple. I wonder if this will be an important area. It was. I wonder if I have to catch this little fella. That was, in some ways, me catching the little fella. Also, it has a little soul, like Pikmin. Ah, the traveler descended from the clouds above. I welcome you, child of fate. your name, Link? Ah, oh, Link. Good. Very good. I sense you've already gained control over the sacred power that fills your sword when pointed skyward. The skyward strike is yours to command. <laughs> it is proof that you are fit to bear the blade you carry, the goddess sword. I have sat here for many years waiting for you to arrive, all so that I could fulfill my purpose as your guide. You stand under the roof of the sealed temple, a place built by the goddess an eternity ago. Your arrival here was predestined many, many years ago. The spirit maiden you seek arrived here shortly before you descending to this land in a shower of light. There's no doubting it. The gears of fate have begun to turn. Yet all is not as it should be. The spirit maiden was not meant to reach this land in the manner she did. I feel an evil power working in the shadows. It moves to warp the destiny of which you two are a part. Link, you are concerned for the spirit maiden and seek her whereabouts, yes? That is understandable. But for now, you must focus on moving forward. That girl has her own purpose she must pursue, as do you. She set out for the Farron Woods to discover that destiny for herself, and you must follow. Show me a map. Here is the map! There are monsters. When a beacon is marked on your map, a column of light will stand at the location. It will act as your waypoint from afar. Afar? Par? Yeah. There's the, the Joy-Con issue that I mentioned. Though you cannot see it from where we are, a beacon stands outside to guide you. Leave the temple through the front door and see for yourself. You no longer have use for the beacon. You can remove it by pressing A. Ah. Go now. You must head into Farron Woods and chase after the spirit maiden. The one you call Zeld. On your way out, take the contents of the treasure chest within this room. What you find there should prove useful on your journey. You are ready. Leave through the door before you and head into the woods. I wish you a safe travel. Wait, does that count as another bottle? I think it does. <laughs> All 
Are there any root pores? There's no need for this save. But in case the power goes out, why not? Scram! Thanks for jumping in there to rescue me, bud. Just who were those red pests? Did not expect to run into a pack of them in this peaceful forest. Same goes for you. This is the second time I've bumped into one of your kind today. I tell you all sorts of weird things going on lately. I owe you big for taking care of those guys, so let me tell you something fascinating. This is a bird. You may not have seen one before, but they live in the sky. Hey, bud. I am Gorko the Goron. I'm researching the ancient history of these woods here. According to the ancient texts, there's some kind of place up above called the Island of the Goddess, far up in the sky. Apparently, these old statues serve as landmarks to those traveling up to the sky or down from this Island of the Goddess place. If you find one, be sure to examine it to keep tabs on the number of landmarks. They're rumored to be quite useful. Supposedly, this statue's special. It's said to have the ability to activate all the other statues. The whole thing sounds a little crazy, I know. But I, for one, believe it to be true. Otherwise, why would these statues be all over the place here? Ooh. Ooh. Whoa! What in the world just happened? Did you use some kind of magic? The statue reacted the moment you got near it, bud. How crazy is that? Oh, I see. Mm. According to some of the ancient texts. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. Better brace yourself. I'm about to blow your mind. Get this, people actually live on the Sky Island. And they get around by flying on the backs of these huge birds that are way bigger than the birds down here. Up there, everyone reveres the goddess. The residents of all the islands in the sky live in the perfect society, totally free of conflict or unhappiness. Not only that, but from what I can tell, their civilization's way, way more advanced than ours down here. But it does not even stop there, bud. This island of the goddess has even more stuff to marvel at. The place was crafted by the goddess herself, so it figures that it's filled with wonders we do not have here. The buildings are all made of gold, an endless spring of mystical water feeds a river through this place. One sip of that stuff and you live forever. Trees are heavy with plump fruit, cure all disease. Fields are covered with pumpkins and never rot! I don't know about all that stuff. Mm. Amazing, right? Wrong! It's beyond amazing. Okay, we've had we've had enough. Yeah, I mean it's all right up there. Maybe not that good, but it's all right. <laughs> Chancellor Gorkon. Wait, Gorkon the Gor the Goron? G Gorkon the Gowron. We sure this isn't Star Trek? Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm not really getting good... The, the swings are not registering the way I want them to, and I think that's because I'm not... No, oh, I need to recenter as well. That's probably why. I have to remember to recenter the gyro, otherwise my swings are gonna get real fucking scummy. Oh, this is the wrong... This is... Okay, good sense of direction I have. I saw a comparison of the loading times from the Wii version to this version, and it's substantial. It's like 7.5 seconds to 1.5 seconds. Certain amiibo figure you can return to the sky. Yeah. about that amiibo figure. Sold out everywhere. Or rather, I don't know if it's actually been up for sale anywhere because of the production problem or the shipping problem or whatever fucking problem there is with it. I don't even really want it. Like, it's not even that good of an amiibo to me. Like, sure, it's, it's Zeld. Sure, it's a loft wing, but I don't know. I only get weird amiibos now, like fucking Richter Belmont. I would like, truthfully though, those Metroid Dread Amiibo look pretty cool. It's a big tree. I agree, Fi. Logical that the lush plant life and water resources have attracted animal species to the region. Looking at the probabilities, it is extremely likely that Zelda is somewhere in the area. I recommend you continue to use your dousing ability. One of the design philosophies for this game was that there would be um, dungeons and then the outdoor areas would also be like mini dungeons. They'd be like out outside dungeons. So. I don't remember if it worked. I don't remember how much I liked these areas. I remember there was one... There was one I really liked, at least. And I know there's some repetitive shit. So that I know. That I remember. Alright. New creatures just dropped. Oh, well, it's gone quiet. Kwiku. Now there's a green one. I don't even know why they came in. I didn't even know they came in green. Don't hurt me. Ku peep. Ku weep. Ma weep.
I wonder if this sold a lot of toys. Where is the Kopweep amiibo, or whatever it's called? I thought they were called Kiwis, but I think they just look like Kiwis. Damn, that mushroom recovers quickly. Still getting used to the controls. Oh, that's how you do that. Damn it, Fi. <laughs> She's in the mushroom. where it comes from. Spotted me again. Hui! Huh? You don't want to eat me? Hui, come to think of it. Why did you fight off all those red monsters? Kipalip. I'm Machi. I'm a Kikwi. Oh, they are like Kiwis. You seem okay, even though you're scary. Thanks for helping me. That's weird, Kiku. A little while ago, I ran into another funny animal like you, but that one was a girl. Zeld? What's Zelda? I don't know who this girl was, Kokui. But she was in a bunch of trouble when I saw her. A pack of those mean red guys were after her Kui, but she escaped with the Kikui Elder. Master, we have obtained new information on Zelda's current status. She was assailed by monsters, but somehow evaded capture. She is still... Uh, the odds are she is still in danger. The Kikwi produces a false positive. I theorize there is an 85% chance that the Kikwi Elder will also generate a dousing reaction for the same response. You spooked me, Kui. You keep some very strange company. Ki Palip seems like seems like you're set on finding this friend in our elder. Tell the elder I'm safe. Goodbye, friend. Okay, Link, now you can go up to that area that I wouldn't let you go up before.
Yeah, using your shield in this game is a little bit different. You have to actually time it. Like you would reflecting a laser in Breath of the Wild. So how do you do that slice while locked on? That's weird. So when... Hmm. I want to do the jumping attack while locked onto an enemy. Why didn't the game tell me what that item was? I need to know! Tell me every time I pick it up! I was just thinking how far this is from Zelda 1. And why I think... I mean, I already understand why they went and... You know, went back to the drawing board and took heavy inspiration from Zelda 1 for Breath of the Wild. But... The just distinct lack of freedom and how linear this game is. Oh, that's what I was supposed to do. I'm supposed to, like, run into them. Oh, I see. It doesn't mean it's bad, because Ocarina of Time kind of firmly established a formula, and I'm okay with the linearity, as long as there's some freedom within that. I happen to think this game... suffers in that regard, because, um... Because the sky feels so empty. But as far as linear storytelling goes, the uh, 3D Zelda entries, they have their, their share of, of, like, you know, be free, explore. But it's nowhere near like Zelda 1, where you could approach dungeons in almost any order and go almost anywhere from the beginning. And and you have this, which which directly funnels you that's not necessarily a bad thing. Like I said, I like this style of gameplay, and a lot of games that I consider my favorites of all time have this style of gameplay. That ass, though. <laughs> I am Butcher the Kikri Elder. By the way, you spotted me through my ingenious camouflage queen. You're a master woodsman. Zelda. Ah, the girl creature with the blonde hair. She looked like one of your kind. Yes, she was with me, Kui. But now is not the time for such talk. The woods are full of monsters. I am worried about my missing tribe, Kui. The shock and worry has made my memories of that girl quite hazy. What? You say you've met some of my people, Kui? Hmm. Oh, Kui, but the monsters, they are still lurking in the forest. I don't dare leave the spot. Kiri, Kui, Kui, are still unaccounted for. Could I ask you to search for them and make sure they are safe, Kui? I'm worried sick for my fellow Kikwis. If you could calm my fears, I might be able to remember more about where the girl you seek went off to, Kui. Learning that Zelda is no longer with the Kikui Elder is an unfortunate setback, but he may still have useful information. 85% prob of never tell me the odds, Professor. We will now search for these strange creatures. Okay. 
six hearts replenished from a fairy in this game. Forgot about that entirely. Trolls here, what's going on? I'm doing I'm I'm balancing as best I can with this Joy-Con. I, I don't understand. It's it's showing one thing for balance, but it's not working. I'm doing as the picture suggested. I'm really, really, really doing that. Oh, fuck this. Okay. Yeah, well, that's much better. I was uh, attempting to recreate the image being shown to me, um, and it wasn't working. See how I like it. Put off those red guys. Does that mean you're a good guy? I've got this problem. My legs have turned to jelly. I can't get down. You think you can help me? Sure. Ouch, that was, um, effective. Anyway, thanks to you, I'm saved. Really, the Elder was worried about me? Well, I'm glad to hear he's safe. My name is Lopsa. If you see the Elder, please tell him where I am. I also like that the motion control, uh, or the, yeah, the yeah, controller control, wasn't just locked to handheld. Which, I don't remember what game it was, but I feel like that happened in something. There, I feel like there was some Switch game. Where the option was completely locked to handheld, and I don't know what it was. Oh yeah, the birds shit, don't they? Look. <laughs> 
Wait, how do I make the stinky go away? Oh. Worst combatants ever. I say missing every one of my attacks. Shield. The shield durability is something to get used to. Nintendo was like, hey, we like that durability thing a lot. Let's, uh, let, let's do that on everything. I taste terrible. Let me go, Kui. The elder was worried about me. Well, I'm glad to hear he's safe. I'm Ulo. If you meet the elder, tell him I'm here. He Palip. I don't know if it's safe yet. I'm going to stay here a while longer and wait for those monsters to go away. There should be one left. Not this way. I didn't even unlock the shortcut. At least I got that one. Skyward Sword VR. First person. Full sword control. I think it would be... It would be probably terrible unless done really, really well. But hell, this is the game for it. If you're gonna do it.
And you know what? There are VR games I've played that have a similar concept. Press the wrong button. Not how you do a fatal blow. Um, yeah, there are VR games where, yeah, you have enemies that have specific openings and weak spots, and you have to figure out exactly how to do it. And maybe there's some influence from Skyward Sword, or maybe this is just the obvious way to go about it. Mate, I know it's you. <laughs> Been discovered, and here I thought I had a good hiding place, Kui. I'm Erla. You won't find another Kikui in these woods that's half as good at hiding as I am, except the Elder, of course. I'm not detecting any additional dousing responses in the area. I suspect you go- I suggest you go speak to the Elder. Go ahead, poop, I dare you. Beacons. I mean, that was a precursor to Breath of the Wild. And this game's, you know, outdoor areas are not that big compared to that. They try to increase the scope a couple times, if I'm not mistaken, and it's okay. There's, there's some scope increase, but it's still nice to have the beacons. That's one of those wacky boxes. I think that's a, a sky loot crate, if I'm not mistaken. Dollar bacon a month club. Every month, you get one new dollar bacon for the narwhal. Alright? It only costs you $5.99 per year, per day, per diem, for a new bacon per month. You get bacon that's a little soft, bacon that's really crispy, bacon that's kinda crispy, bacon that's somewhere in the middle, bacon that's extremely soft, barely cooked, you get bacon that's a little crispy, but also a little soft in some spots. You get soggy bacon. You get bacon... chuzzle. You get, uh, bacon crisps, bacon bits, bacon... blimps. DollarBaconAMonthClub.cock Every time you get a new bacon, you earn points and rewards to give to your family, your friends, and then you can save 15% or more 
on your car insurance. But only if you have dollar bacon a month dot cock. Each one comes in an artisanal crate. Handcrafted by the hardest working sweatshops in Peru. But don't worry, with our bacon and your crate, you will never again have to think, let alone feel empathy. Your stomach will be full and your wallet will be lighter. And that's that's our philosophy. That and family. Also, we su uh, support every progressive issue, um, depending on the time of year it may be. Um, yeah, so don't worry about that. Locally sourced bacon, cage-free bacon, as harmless and as harmful as a butterfly. DollarBaconACock.cock is the best way to get your bacon in a crate made from real topinka wood. So sign up today and um, save uh, on a new bacon credit card and uh, interest will be low and, and sign up for family members and get yourself a free pig. These hogs are rip-roaring, raring, and ready to go. And they're square, like in the movie Space Truckers. Oh, now you remember where Zelda went. Travel to the temple deep within the woods. The clever little thing vaulted off my belly and ran off on her own. She headed down that way towards the temple, but to be sure. Be sure to take great care. There's monsters. Oh, that was just in there. Right? With a slingshot, you should be able to find your path into the deep woods. Thank you, Kiki Elder. Again, I understand I'm skipping a lot of dialogue, riveting dialogue at that, but, um, that's... That's just the type of playthrough this is going to be. I'm going to, you know, the important stuff, sure. Otherwise, we can get the gist of what's happening. And I'd prefer that, because I have played this game and have completed it and 100%ed it. And yes, currently I'm still using a controller. Because the motion controls on that balancing area was... It was actually painful. I would say. It didn't make any sense, truthfully. Like, I don't know what exactly how I was supposed to move the controller. I was, I was very, very confused and disappointed. And my day was ruined. That was one of those spirit boxes. Where the spirits talk to you. Let's see what the slingshot is like with the motion controls, because I just don't remember.
Oh, it's, it's fine. The trick is to not hold the button, because that's how you switch items. I was holding the button. Where's Agatha when you need her? <laughs> Guess not. Guess you don't get those. I felt like I was playing Animal Crossing for a second there. I'm eager to attempt another tightrope walk so I can actually try to figure out how the fuck this thing works properly. Oh. Big motion. Slingshot bullets. Oh, shit. Oh, looks like I'll have another chance to attempt motion controls time. Yes, very good. Balance on a rope. Yeah. regular skull. In the middle of combat, Link just stares at the skull. About to get fucking skewered. Stares at the skull with a big dopey smile on his face, and it's like, yeah, that's- that's Link. That's Link's character in a nutshell. That and bees. Oh no. Hornet larva. It larvae. That's also Link in a nutshell. Destroying something's nest or a tree or whatever the fuck you need to destroy to collect an item that can be used to make a, a fungal creation of disgust. Oh, 
Broad movement. That's what it is. Like you have to flick your wrists. You don't just. Yeah, it, either that or it just legitimately wasn't working before because now it seems easy. I don't know what the fuck happened there. Huh. Weird. Again, don't hold the uh, Wiimote too, too far away. Otherwise, you're gonna have some problems. I say Wiimote, it's a Joy-Con. This was actually... One of the last times I noticed this problem was Breath of the Wild. That's when I learned that, um... There wasn't a ton of range for perfect accuracy. Or, I say perfect, you know what I mean. Because, also, my Switch, the actual Switch itself, like the dock, is on the bottom stand of the Entertainment Center. So there, and there's also maybe some stuff in the way, like just the way I'm I'm sitting. Yeah, it's working. It's working like shit again. Uh, oh, that might be because I'm holding the the Joy-Con against my own advice too far away again. Crazy. Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of lazy with the swings. But some of those feel like they didn't register. Hey. Not exactly how I want to. Oh, it's Gorko, not Gorkon. Oh. Hold up, but I need to ask you a favor. Oh. I tell you, your timing could not have been better. Look here, I just stumbled upon one of these things just now. Looks like there's something I've never seen in the ancient texts. I remember right. Yup, this is one of those things the goddess had, was said to have left behind for the hero of legend. They're goddess cubes. Mm -hmm. There's bacon in there. Ancient texts say some real interesting stuff about these things. How did it go again? Uh, summon forth the light from the heavenly blade. May that sword's master receive aid. Well, there you have it. Mm -hmm. Got this, mate. I still use the Skyward Sword Gold Wii Motion Wiimote Plus. 
to this day, whenever I do Wii stuff, like when I did Wii WarioWare Smooth Move, I use that. Just an aside. Like I have the collector's box still as well. Blast as many of those cubes as you can find. I will, quote unquote, blast those cubes. rupees. Buy yourself an ice cream, kid. Weird to think of this game as being the Zelda game on the Wii. Technically, this is the Wii Zelda game. Twilight Princess, to me, doesn't really fully count. Because Twilight Princess only had tacked on motion controls. That's probably why this game exists in some ways as well. Because you had, like, people like myself who got a Wii and was like, Oh my god, it's going to be so cool to control Link's sword with the Wiimote. The hype surrounding the release of the Wii was fucking palpable, by the way. I don't know if anyone was around for that or sentient for that, but let me tell you... People could not fucking wait for that console, and neither could I. I was very excited because it really genuinely seemed like something new. And then when you got, you know, Wii Sports, yes, it was cool as fuck. The pointer was really cool. That was something I hadn't seen before, really. But what I did feel disappointment over was the fact that Twilight Princess was was good. The game itself was good. I loved it. But it amounted to just waggling the Wiimote, and that was your sword. It's like, god damn. This isn't... this isn't what I want. So it's because of that, damn, this isn't what I want, that Nintendo was like, hmm, we must make the next game entirely motion. It will be all motion plus. But as, as I've stated before, I do, I do think that for its time, there is something cool about what they were trying to do with this game. And, um... I'm just a lazy person, so that's why the controller is preferable in many situations. That said, though... I don't think I would like to see another game like this, unless it was VR. Because I don't feel like I'm Link swinging the sword, I feel like I'm Vinny fighting the controls. Also, yeah, three hours until the first temple. Is that a complaint? I don't know, I leave it for you. You, you can decide if that's a complaint or not, I don't know. Bad auras are in this temple, I've been told. That's what Fi just told me, there's bad auras in the temple. I remember loving the temples in this game, especially... 
um, the ancient cistern. Terrible memory I have, I remember that, and I remember the boss. Love the visual style of this one. I want to break free. Is it just me, or did Freddie Mercury feel like a cartoon character in that Bohemian Rhapsody movie? Well... That's a different conversation entirely. But anyway, uh, yeah, no, I do think that this concept actually kind of has potential, like using the sword and solving puzzles and, you, you know, I would love to see a VR game. I, I know it would never happen, but a VR Zelda with the Skyward Sword ethos of, you know, every every fight is like a puzzle. I think that would be cool as fuck. But it, you know, it would have to be done right. Underrated game that I miss, by the way, is the Wii U game Nintendo Land which had a Zelda thing in it. I forget what that was exactly, but I remember liking it. I liked the Metroid game in that, too. Nintendo Land was like the best Wii game. <laughs> the Wii U game, sorry. Nintendo Land was like the best Wii U game. It all went downhill from there. The potential of what the Wii U could have been was demonstrated very clearly in Nintendo Land, and then it was never really delivered upon. I can think of a couple games. Mario Maker 2... Sorry, Mario Maker 1... ...used the touchscreen... ...to a great degree. And having two screens for that was cool. Um, I, I think that's a very simple, obvious choice. And, uh, the other thing... Huh. Mario 64. Game and Wario was a pretty good Wii game. I keep saying Wii when I mean Wii U at the moment. But, uh, Game and Wario was the attempt at the WarioWare game for the Wii U. And while I think it failed in many respects, it had a couple cool little tech demo things. And... I can't think of anything else that really fully needed the Wii. I mean, Star Fox, sure, but God, what a, what a thing that was. Star Fox was so tied to the concept that it sacrificed its own, like, identity and fun just to use those controls and it actively fought against you if you wanted to just look at one screen over the other you would you'd have you'd have to just split your brain i mean it it would actually actively sabotage the gameplay so that it could fulfill a gimmick that didn't really work, and then thus maybe even put an end to where Star Fox is for a long time. I think Nintendo is probably smart to not bring back Star Fox for a little bit. Wait until the appetite's there, 
and then do something very safe with it. And maybe, you know, maybe it'll sell. I hope it does. But yeah, the, the Wii U, I don't know how we got, I, I do know how it, uh, using the gimmick of the system to create a game. I think, all things considered, this is a pretty successful example of that. I may not love it, but I, I think it, it, it utilized what it needed to pretty well. Even better now, because you have uh, more accuracy and better frame rates. And here I am, hoping for another Pilot Wings game. I was thinking about, like, the 3DS. When was the 3D effect really utilized? Maybe Mario 3D Land, and even then, like, not really. Um, the 3D effect was just cool to look at sometimes. Sometimes it was headache-inducing. Other times I thought it looked great, especially when they toned it down. Like, I thought Majora's Mask 3D was a, a step up. Um, utilizing the 3D as opposed to uh, Ocarina, which was still early in the 3DS's life cycle, and the 3D effect when turned all the way up was just painful. But Majora scaled it back appropriately. But Pilot Wings, I remember, like, even then. The effect was a little insane, it was a little too much, but I thought Pilot Wings on the 3DS was like a cool launch game. And, um... Man, I keep hoping for another Pilot Wings game. Or even a Pilot Wings 64 remake. I'd take it. Just give me the same game with, with good visuals and like more detail on the maps and everything, and I'd love that. I just love Pilot Wings music. Like, the whole vibe of Pilot Wings, I think, is great. And for the Switch, you could do, you know, portable. You could do, um, if you want. I guess some crazy bastards could use the Joy-Cons to motion control it, I guess. Not that I need to tell you every time I've switched control schemes, but I am, for those that don't know, I am currently using the Joy-Cons again. Um, you can see it. Like, you can actually see what I'm using when the tooltips occur, and you get some, like, UI elements that show you what I'm using. Whoa. But yeah, this game looks r really good still. This dungeon in particular, I love the color scheme of this dungeon. I love the visual identity and style of this game. Even more now. Like, playing it again... 
with the HD edition. I'm like, okay. Look at that. This is great. Like the, just the color palette in and of itself is like really cool. Um, but then you get it nice and crisp. I know I keep going on about those 60 FPS, but we don't get a lot of Zelda games that... It, I think... What was it? Link Between Worlds was 60 FPS. Otherwise, Zelda's usually locked at 30. Enjoyment of game went up 100% after getting into Dungeon. Not that I don't enjoy the Farron Wood segment. That was, that was okay. I mean, it was also like extended tutorial as well. So it's, it's starting off a little bit slow, but... It was nice to have little puzzles to solve and... Combat, finally. Um, but this is, this is the good shit. Also, considering um, Breath of the Wild didn't really have traditional Zelda dungeons, it had plenty of voice cracks, though. Uh, it's it's good to it is it is certainly good to revisit traditional Zelda dungeons. I still hope Breath of the Wild Two has that, even if it's not like the whole game. And it does something different with them, and it's just four. Like, it would be great to have traditional Zelda dungeons... ...more like this, alongside the open-world gameplay. I think that would create a really, really great combination. Also, Free Camera... ...is a fantastic addition. Again, I wish the the controller version of it had a little bit more, um, had an option to do it a different way. But you do what you can. I mean, hey, Nintendo could always patch their game, right? Give the people what they want. Nintendo is good like that, aren't they? The answer is no. No, they're not. Okay, I think I can actually kill this spider, but I need to do some fanciness. Ah, 
Ah, fanciness. You just witnessed it. Yeah, I'm trying to stab. It's not registering my stabs. So that's a fucking annoyance. Yeah, that was a nightmare. Mm. So yeah, yeah, the, the stab was just not happening and I even sat up I was trying real hard to get this thing as accurate as possible and it just was not happening we'll see we'll see if it happens again live dangerously. Streamer, dot dot dot. Joke's on you, I'm not even streaming this. So there's- there's crystals. Two doors lead to rooms left and right. They will only open when gemstones st are struck, one is above, one's below. So I wonder if I have to do something in this particular room. I mean, I filled the water. Chest. I got that one. Bird statue. And there's that. Oh. That's the exit.
may as well see. God damn it, I'm not asking five for help. <laughs> I'm gonna do this. really swim. Can't dive or anything. Uh, let me take another look in here and just see. I got this. Don't worry, I got this. So yes, yeah, so I activated that one. I really just... Okay, so yeah, you have to use the X. There's an X in the other room. There should be. Is it hidden from view? Or did I just blind it? Because that's very likely the case here. What in tarnation? Okay. Um, don't see a gem. I really don't see a gem. And the water is not high enough to, um, to get me over there. Wow, this is the first temple. This is the first couple rooms of the first temple, and I'm already stuck. I could really use a key right about now, which I'm assuming is here. This is impressively stupid on my part. Oh. How did I miss this before? I was on that log, too. Well, shit happens, especially when you don't have a bunch of, you know, people telling you how to play the game and win. We used to call them backseaters back in my day, but now they're just called lifelines. They're where my brain cells have gone. Oh well. I guess I was too busy looking for a... a red switch. They make a switch in a red model?
Natural. Natural hand movements. Natural arm movements. Good motion controls here. Enjoying them very much. What is going on? Fucking turd burglar. Okay, so that's two easy things that I fucked up now and blame the game. Though I will say that the fucking sword movements were very unnatural while I was doing motion controls. <laughs> oh, god damn it. God damn it. All right. Just have to eat that. That's it. Just have to eat it. I think the smaller movements work better, but the big exaggerated ones... I feel like the game is kind of designed for the big ones. It's... I don't know. I'm not sure what the fuck is happening. Look at the music builds the further into the dungeon you go.
not even going to bother with that. I'll start by saving. I've already spent 10 minutes failing at baby puzzles. dropping from the ceiling. Rattle me bones, I remember this. Oh, the skeleton had good music, too. to get better at blocking. God knows I'm going to need that, uh, that a lot later in the game. The Beetle. Alright. Thank you, Link, for grabbing me. Everything's motion controlled. Sorry, Link. You're stuck in here now. You were greedy and you wanted a beetle. You got it, all right. I'm actually kind of shocked they didn't do a Wii Pilot Wings game. Using, like, gyro waggle to control your pilot wing. Something like this, in fact.
Yeah, cool rupee. I feel like this is another thing that would be improved with the controller. I'm sure I'll find out at some point during this playthrough. Beetle runs out very quickly. There's a perfectly good thumbstick in my right hand and my left hand. Two of them. Two perfectly good thumbsticks. rupees. Max 300 rupees. Progress. Best way to approach every Zelda dungeon, just to run through them without looking at, at your surroundings. Just straight ahead. Pip pip cheerio, chaps. Well, well, what's all this then? Ah. 
Okay. Oh, wow. Wow. Wow, I, I don't know what to do. This is better. <laughs> this is better. On the spider. Shit spied. Let's see if I can really make the spider suffer for what it's done. Spider, 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 spider. Yeah, they'll still, like, pop, even if your motion's weird and your arm breaks. I, I guess it's still fine. Yeah, let's, let's collect rupees. That seems like a smart idea. The old Zelda conundrum. Too many rupees, not enough things to buy with them.
time to find out. <laughs> Experiment failed. It's better. Um, I just have to get used to it because it's got some really wide turns, but it's it's better. Fuck. He puts speedrunners to shame. Stick with the controller for a little bit. Okay, that that was actually supposed to be a little bit of a fight, I think. While you try to figure out how to uh, destroy all three heads at the same time, if I'm not mistaken. But again, speedrunners hate him. Again, no one control scheme is completely perfect and better than the others. I feel like it, it is really actually incredibly situational. And you can do everything in one or another, but I think there there are times where controller excels. And where and where it doesn't. But having the option is very nice. Also, you get gyro when you're aiming with the controller. It's a light gyro, so it's not too intense, and you can mostly do big movements with the um, with the right stick. I wanted to jostle. How do you jostle? There's a jostle button. I saw it before, I swear. Hmm. Gotta find that jostle button. Okay. It was like, press the left stick in. Also, this is an interesting game uh, to play while I've entered my bird... the bird phase of my life. 
whether it be waterfowl or just birds in general, I'm, I enjoy them. So, you know. Good timing on this game. Got like bird statues and shit. There's another one of those stuck on a wall earlier in the temple. Favorite section from Wind Waker. Ah, oh, yes. But now in Skyward Sword. Gonna do this perfectly this time. Whoa! That wasn't perfect. I didn't realize that I grabbed a new rope vine. Again, speedrunners hate him. But then again, so do a lot of people, so... What can you do? I mean, think about all the people in this game alone that want to kill Link. It's like, probably 95% of the NPCs. Or more. Doesn't deter him. Oh boy. Um, okay. Let's see if I can do this with a controller. Look, 
who it is. I thought that tornado I stirred up would have tossed and torn you apart, yet here you are, not in pieces. Not that your life or death has any consequence. It's just the girl that matters now, and I can sense her here, just beyond this door. Yes, we plucked her majesty from her perch in the clouds, and now she's ours. Oh, but listen to me. I'm being positively uncivil. Allow me to introduce myself. I am the demon lord who presides over this land you look down upon. This world that you call the surface. You may call me Girahim. In truth, I very much prefer to be indulged with my full title, Lord Girahim, but I'm not fussy. Did you really just draw your sword? Foolish boy. <laughs> By all rights, the girl should have fallen into our hands already. She was nearly ours when that loathsome servant of the goddess snatched her away. Do you have any idea how that made me feel inside? Furious! Outraged! Sick with anger! This turn of events has left me with a strong appetite for bloodshed! <laughs> Still, it hardly seems fair, being of my position, to take all my anger out on you. Which is why I promise up front not to murder you. No, I'll just beat you within an inch of your life. <laughs> the famous tongue scene. <laughs> Fuck, I forgot about that. So yeah, I think you have to, like, if I'm not mistaken, you have to fake them out a little bit. I think that's what's working. No beetle. Now's not the time. Okay, I, I'll switch back to Joycon.
Yum. I'll be taking one of those. God damn it. Imagine grandma's at the nursing home playing this. Oh, I like that Wii Sports! Nintendo... I, I, I hope they didn't... Like, I hope they knew this. I hope they didn't actually try to cater this. Completely to the casual audience. I mean, they did a little bit with the tutorial shit, like Fi and everything. But yeah, no, this this is a pretty hard for uh, first boss fight because there, there's a lot of stuff you can't do. Also easier with Joy-Con, this particular fight so far. Well, you put up more of a fight than I would have thought possible out of such a soft boy. But don't clap for yourself quite yet. That sword of yours is the only reason you still live. I fear I spent far too long teasing and toying with you. The girl's presence has all but faded from this place, which means there's no reason to linger here. Goodbye, Sky Child. Run and play this time. Get in my way again, though. Then you're dead. <laughs> Do you think he's at all concerned that I have a legendary sword? Nah, he's... Probably a little too egotistical. a nice looking area. Master, I have a message written in the language of the gods of old. Allow me to translate for you. From the edge of time, I guide you, the one chosen to carry out the goddess's mission. We're just skating now? <laughs> Spirit maiden who descended from the clouds must travel to two sacred places to purify her body. You stand in one of these places, Skyview Spring, the other is known as the Earth Spring. The second spring is hidden away deep within the scorched earth of Elden. 
The spirit maiden, every, ever mindful of the heavy task entrusted to her, has set out for the second sacred place. What do you think you could pawn this thing for? Get like seven master swords from that. Yeah, uh, best I can do about 250. Master, as I just translated, it would appear that Zelda purified herself in the waters of the spring. I calculate a 97% chance that she has already set out for Elden, where another great spring exists. However, it is not clear what method of travel Zelda used to move from here to her next destination. Take the tablet to the altar in Skyloft, and it will open a new column of light. Use the bird statue. No! What the fuck? It's me, did you find the girl? Who are you? What do you mean? I'm your buddy Machi. Now I'm sad, Kukui. Glad to finally be re reunited with all my friends, and it's all thanks thanks to you. With any luck, you'll find that girl you've been searching for. Okay, goodbye. Okay, goodbye. Okay, this is like approaching three hours of Zelda Skyward Sword. I'm gonna save and quit here. I enjoyed. Again, same little qualms. It's mainly motion control stuff. I can't... It's like trying to sleep on your side and then your back, but you're not quite comfortable with either, so you keep switching. That's how I feel about this game at the moment. I don't really know how I want to play it. But, at least I have an option. And at least, it feels a little bit more streamlined. And... I forgot that I enjoyed a lot of this. Like, there's some cool stuff in this game. And that Girahim fight... ...was, um... ...was pretty cool. And the visuals are great. You know, for a Wii game. And... ...I guess look forward to more Skyward Sword. After putting about four hours in, I'm gonna say that this is... ...a pretty decent HD... ...version. And it has a lot of positives, for sure. So... I mean, if you've never played Skyward Sword, just be, you know, be aware of what you're going to buy if you buy it. You're going to have to deal with some motion control stuff, and uh, you might get a little frustrated because it takes like three hours to get to the first temple. But it's a pretty fucking solid Zelda game so far, and I'm looking forward to revisiting some of the more, um, I guess interesting parts of the game, as you will see. So anyway, thank you for watching yet again. I appreciate you very much for still checking out this stuff. And I'll continue to do more. Subnautica Below Zero is probably just about done, so I'm going to try to finish that. And I'm going to try to wrap up RimWorld a little bit as well. Thank you all so very much. It's not lost on me how supportive most of you are and how this music makes it sound more important than it is, but I really appreciate how supportive you are, and how much you've helped me, and how much you continue to help me, and, and are kind, and understand that I need my space, and also understand that I need to do the non-streaming thing for a while. Many of you have been very, very chill about that, and I thank you from the cockles. Until next time, this was Skyward Sword, and I've been Vinny, and... Is Shrigma Rail? Rail's a rarest type? <laughs>